Hey guys, welcome to another video on Bharat in Germany. My name is Bharat and in this video I have Aman and he has been studying a very interesting course in Germany which is like you know not exactly engineering, mechanical engineering, civil whatsoever that you generally think and this is like what we try to do with this series and that is like that you understand you just don't have engineering courses in Germany but you can also study other courses. So Aman, welcome to the channel. Tell us a bit about yourself and then let's jump into the questions. My name is Aman Gupta. I am from India, Delhi, and I'm studying masters in marine geosciences from Uni Bremen, and I'm still in my second semester. And like, tell me a bit about your story in the sense, like, you know, how did the bachelors go, and what were you studying there? Were you facing some kind of issues when you were thinking about coming to Germany? Because Germany is supposed to be just like you know an engineering country. Yeah, in my bachelors, I started my bachelors from Delhi University. I were I took. B.Sc. Bachelor of Sciences in Geology, and in the starting, it was not so common for me and also for other people. When I was going to tell other people I'm doing geology, they were like, "What is geology? Is it zoology or something?" So it was really weird in the starting. But uh, then I also got used to it. Then after my bachelor's, I talked to a lot of seniors, my professors, professors, and they also just told me that maybe you can try to go to some other place. uh rather than india to have better knowledge about the technology if you want so i just searched around and this was the best fitting course for me in germany luckily since you just said it's like a place for just engineering courses but i really liked it if uh, when i found that there are some master in science courses for marine geosciences and also the structure of the module was pretty pretty nice it was interdisciplinary with a lot of different approaches so I really liked it. That's why I applied for Germany. And um, what were your parents saying when you were thinking about coming to Germany? Were they on board with it, or was it like, yeah, not really? Yeah, I was really lucky in that sense because my parents were so supportive for me. They were like, yeah, just go for it. We are with you, and they helped me in every way you can think about, be it financially, emotionally, or anything. So yeah, I would say I was really lucky for that. Perfect. So, tell me about your experience of studying in Germany so far. What were the biggest, let's say, shocks when you started your studies um, in University of Bremen? In the starting, I started my semester online. I was still in India because I was struggling with some visa problems due to COVID situation. But uh, even in the online session, it was quite easy for me. The professors were really, really friendly. The biggest shock I would say in this thing was when I started my course. I uh, said that sir and he was like no you can just call me by my name and it was really shocking for me as an indian because we don't usually call the professors by name so yeah that was one of the major shock for me during studies and then when i came to germany it in my second semester it was still like uh, online i didn't really went to the uni in the starting semester just for the exam but uh, i really like the community here with the students they are so helpful with me and also the studying pattern you it's not like a stress for you it's like a thing you can enjoy while studying with all the projects and stuff which you can do with your classmates it's always a good uh, practice mm -hmm. i would say so that thing i like the most studying uh, even online what was your um, bachelor's again aman in do you bachelor of science geology Perfect. And now look, so many people are like, you know, I've done BSc, that's why I cannot study in Germany because studying in Germany needs a four-year degree, which is like, you know, only yeah. just the engineering degrees, which is clearly not true. So, did you also hear some things like that when you were applying to your course right now in masters? Were you hearing these things from other people that like hey, you cannot study because that's like, uh, you need four-year bachelor's or something? No, in Germany, uh, I think uh, most of the people also. Uh, was saying that in canada and other countries you need like four year bachelors it's like a must but in germany yes uh, it's not required so i think it's so nice for people who are planning to do masters so um tell me about your experience with the course so far you know like because many people they say okay in india like you know education system is still not bad you figure out a way to like you know go ahead and study and things like that so far you have written some exams you must have written some exams and um what was your experience there and um tell me a bit about it yeah education system in india i would say it's not bad because 
obviously people are accepting Indi- indian education system in outside also so i won't say it's bad uh, it's just that it's not more practical more theoretical but that's the only thing i chose germany because it was more practical and here uh, from the starting day i have seen that the professors are trying to teach her teachers things which are more in a uh, practical way with more laboratorical or field approach like for even for studying some geophysics there's a part in my course named geophysics uh, where we study about uh, like it's like a combination of geology and physics in simple terms so we used to tr- study geophysics and we also went for a field trip that's also a plus in my course Uh, they also take us to field trips i went to austria in the alps and we did the practicals there the research there with the original instruments which are also used by industry mm-hmm. so that's the thing it it is helping students to prepare them for uh, for the future for applying for jobs outside i mean do you see like some major differences in softwares or something like i tell you about my civil engineering degree there like in india of course you use autocad most of the times like for us in civil engineering and um you use arc gis i think like you must also be seeing something of that um yeah. adas imagine was the um, and like there were these softwares right and like arc gis is something that you also like use in germany also like in civil engineering side um and like for the finite element analysis and stuff for us like in civil engineering like there were completely different uh, programs did you see some differences there like of what you were like learning in india and what are being like generally used here yes yes uh, there's a lot of difference in the uh, softwares like in my course i can also go in a different approach you doing some modeling using some softwares and coding like python and uh, mat and uh, using softwares like matlab octave and there are also some specific softwares only for our course it's one of them is like ihs kingdom we use for geophysics and it's uh, they also give access to it because it that software is used only in industries and it's really expensive but a plus thing in uni bremen i would say uh, they give access to you and they also teach you how to use the software so in all the way in holistic way they are uh, preparing you for your future um and so far like what kind of living expenses are you seeing um when you're like studying here to be honest right now i am living in a countryside because i hail from delhi and i i was really sick of the city side mm. so that's why i am right now living in a countryside it's like not not expensive i would say it's not expensive it's, it's okay i i can manage it and i also save so and now since it's really far from the uni and uni is opening really soon because covid restrictions are going to be uplifted so i found a place in the rendin work like student houses uh, so it's also cheaper any other tips or advices you would like to give aman because like again it's not an uh, engineering field it's something different like to other people who are in your same field or similar like you know bsc fields what kind of things they should watch out for when they're thinking about like you know coming to germany or like any other general advice that you would have in general i would say what i did because i would i can recommend that what i did uh, so in bachelors i would recommend everybody to just uh, look out for the websites to do some internships rather it's online or offline it's not important it's just you should learn how the uh this course is working around the world and how people are what what the people are really do just jump into different websites of ministries of india also and look for internships like i did one internship in ministry of uh, environment forest and climate change and they taught me a lot about all the processes which are occurring around the ocean and that's where i got the motivation from so yeah it's always good to find for some internships you will know where your interest really lies and other than that just be in contact with the seniors keep looking for the your courses around the world for the modules especially that's mm-hmm. it for now i think <laughs> okay perfect i think like that was very interesting and i think to anybody who's watching like you should just keep in mind that of course there's a lot of like information online and you will see a lot of people like you know talking about all sorts of stuff but it always makes sense that you at least like reach out to your alumni you know maybe you're finding some seniors of your own universities try speaking to them who have been to germany or if you're interested in a particular course see like if somebody's from your own country and see like you know what are the differences and so on i think spending 30 minutes a day on just on just networking on linkedin that is really going to like build your network further so think about doing that 
and aman thank you so much for getting on this call and sharing all of your information about the course and i'll see you around